Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers, back with another cop dropper flop. And if you guys are new to the channel, it's where I choose the top four releases of the week, and I do rate them within a cop dropper flop, where a cop is a shoe that I would cop, a drop is a shoe I wouldn't cop, and a flop is a shoe I feel like the company just completely messed up on. Anyways, without further ado, let's get it. So the first shoe is Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 in the triple black colorway that releases on June 28th for the price of $200. And damn, is that steep. I don't know why it's $200. Ultra Boost are usually, what, $180? I guess they raised the price $20 more for this shoe. I'm not too sure why. But this shoe is super hot. It is a triple black. And you guys know me. I love triple black. It goes with everything. I would love to get this pair, but I already have a triple black. I don't know why they're releasing another form of it. I think it's because of the heel. They did make it matte black this time instead of like a shinier black. And that being said, this shoe is a drop for me since I already have a triple black. I'm not going to buy two. There really is no point. But what I really want is the 1.0 because the 1.0 is super sick. It's honestly just a triple black. It's black all the way through. Next up, we do have the Nike Air More of Tempo, Scotty Pippen. And this shoe just released on June 29th for the price of $160. And to be honest, that price is super good. This shoe is honestly dope as hell. I'm not much of an up tempo person, but the colorway on this shoe is, is you just can't pass up on it. It reminds you of the zebra colorways because it is red, black, and white. But for some reason, like the lines that come down from the A and the I and the R, they make the shoe look so much nice. They make the shoe pop a lot more. You see the air a lot more, like the word air. Honestly, this shoe is super dope. Unfortunately, I don't wear up tempos. I don't know why. I think they're too bulky, but I kind of want to buy a pair to see how they would look. And if I don't like them, I'll just return them. So I think I'm gonna have to give this shoe a cop because I'm gonna have to try it on. And if I like it, then I'll keep it. And if I don't, then I'll return it because I'm a skinny guy with skinny ankles. So this shoe might just look too big on my feet. So I might just have to return it. But like I said, I'm gonna give it a shot. Number three on the list, we do have the Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged in the Blue Patrol colorway. This shoe does release on June 30th for the price of $180, which is the normal price of Adidas Ultra Boost. I don't know why the triple black went up $20 in price, which is dumb to me. But I know people are still gonna buy it because the triple black colorways are always hot from Adidas. And in my opinion, this shoe is just completely ugly. It's too basic. There's nothing really going on with the shoe. It looks too plain. I feel like this is a shoe that somebody that wants to be in sneakers will pick up because it's an Ultra Boost, but they don't really know better. But they just want to say that they have a pair of Ultra Boost. So this is probably one of those shoes. And I feel like some of you sneakers know what I'm talking about. But this shoe to me is just ugly. Unfortunately, the color is ugly as well. I don't like blue too much. There, there would probably be very few shoes in my collection that would be blue. I don't think I have a pair right now. Maybe the Royal Ones is about it. And just because it's an iconic colorway, it's an iconic shoe. But other than that, this isn't even like that Royal Blue. It's like a aqua blue in a way, but not too. It's not like an aqua blue. It's a little darker than aqua blue, but it's lighter than a regular blue. I guess it's a Blue Patrol, whatever the hell that is. I don't know what the hell Patrol is. But for me, this shoe is a flop. And yes, it's a flop from Adidas. The Uncaged Ultra Boost line from Adidas is a complete flop. I think all their shoes are ugly. The only uncaged shoes I'd give them would probably be like the mid ones, like the Kith Ultra Boost. Those are pretty sick. That's the only uncaged version I'll give them of Ultra Boost. But other than that, this particular shoe, this exact model is a complete flop. And last but not least, we do have a shoe that's restocking on July 1st. It originally released on June 15th. It is a Nike KD 10 in the Oreo colorway. And this shoe goes for a price of $150, which is a great price for basketball shoes. And in my opinion on this shoe, I'm not a big KD 10 fan. I don't like the way the shoe looks. Like around the ankle, it just looks really weird. I heard it's a good shoe to ball in. Like I do ball in the KD 6s or the KD 7s. I'm not the sure which one that is. It's the one with the strap and it has a suit on the side. I'm actually looking at them right now. And those shoes are pretty good. Like they can be better, but they do the job for me when I'm on the court. It looks to me like this shoe has that Nike Air all the way through, or is it Nike Zoom? I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking I'm pretty sure it's Nike Air. I forget my Nike terms because I've been on Adidas so much that I just been looking into Adidas so much. Like I've done my research with their shoes and I know what they put into their shoes. Colorway is nice, don't get me wrong. But for some reason, the part around the ankle, just the ankle part, and then below it where the swoosh is, that little Y tab, I guess you want to call it, it goes around the heel. I feel like they could have changed it up and made it look a lot nicer. So that being said, this shoe for me is gonna be a drop it's not a flop because the shoe is good to ball in from what i heard so i can't say it's a flop but i do gotta say it's just a drop it's not a shoe that i'd be copying anytime soon i wouldn't cop any kd10 hopefully the kd11 is a lot better anyways guys that wraps up this week's cop dropper flop let me know if you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think about these shoes also in the comments write down what shoe you would cop drop or flop out of these four and if you have any other shoes you have an opinion on that do release this week go ahead and talk about it in the comments below i will get back to you i do want to know your guys' opinion before i go i do gotta give a shout out to today's fan of the day and today's fan of the day is tricks and kicks bro thank you so much for hanging out with me when i was over at the just went pop-up shop you're a super cool dude i hope we get back in touch soon i hope we meet up and i hope your channel grows as well so go ahead and check him out his channel is tricks and kicks it's the word tricks the letter n and kicks all together no spaces so go ahead and check him out anyways guys don't forget to subscribe and share this video with all your friends make sure they subscribe as well like i said we're trying to get this channel back on the road back where it was before and even bigger than that but i need your guys' help on that so please share these videos and also subscribe as well if you haven't already all that being said make sure you stay woke it's your boy yeah.